Hello, Cancer. I hope you're doing great. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Cancer, for Cancer's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cancer in the life and how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Cancer in the life and how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey. This one wants to be extra clearly. Oh boy. So you're dealing with a group of people where you feel you always have to be on guard and uh, look over your shoulder. Like you can't just relax and be yourself. Whether it's a group of people at your job that is chaotic or a group of people in your family yeah, you feel like you're stuck with these people, like you can't just get away from them. So it's either in your family or at your job for most of you. Yeah, you see, this is karma on a grand scale, meaning that you have certain lessons you're supposed to learn because of these people. Yeah, they're teaching you patience. They're teaching you acceptance. They're teaching you forgiveness mm -hmm. oh they bring you a lot of stress this is you carrying all those heavy ones on your back you feel so stressed out in this situation with these people that you have to deal with yeah you have karma to resolve with them lessons to learn who is this somebody is showing up here um king of wands Universe, please show us hmm, what's coming up for Cancer in the life and how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey. I love King of Wands energy. Hmm. So, my goodness. So, it looks like more drama because of these individuals that you're going to have to deal with more. You see unexpected communication with them oh my gosh so this is more severe than i thought originally here's the worst card in the whole deck three of swords heartbreak so these people are really you're not imagining that you have to defend yourself and be on guard yes you do because these people are into gossip drama yeah major drama see this day already betrayed you behind your back but in your face they're going to pretend they're your best friend you right now at this time consider yourself a single meaning not in a relationship with anybody yeah you are very independent emotionally financially universe please show us what's coming up for cancer in the life how is cancer currently doing i'm so sorry you're going through so much yeah you see these people here, you see a bunch of them. So you have a bunch of them. People that bring you drama, chaos, that gossip. You see this? Um, that already already caused you a lot of grief, you see? But unfortunately, you have to uh, deal with them uh, on a regular basis. So it's either in your family or at your job. Oh my gosh, they're coming at all angles here you see look at this one of them in particular is very jealous of you yeah um, the energy towards you is not good you are extremely guarded towards these people yeah you are very guarded your soulmate loves you but they're not in your life yeah they don't show you that love they hiding how they truly feel about you you see they hiding behind that emperor's persona they really love you a lot but they don't express it don't show it don't verbalize it for some reason you're going through a lot yeah uh, you have some kind of karma to balance with these people that is the only reason why you can't 
uh, walk away from them a hundred percent. So you 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 learning some kind of lessons. You balancing karmic debts with them. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Oh boy, it's tough. I know. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cancer and how is Cancer currently doing on their summer journey. For some of you, it's both situations in your family and at your job. That's even more difficult to deal with. Ah, so you're manifesting somebody new in your life, someone of quality, someone mature, stable, king of wands. It's a king, not a page or a knight. Beautiful. Someone you're meeting through some kind of social gatherings. So the person you've been dealing with, you are very disappointed with because this is how you view them based on their behavior towards you. You view them as not reliable in this relationship as in and out of your life as not communicating with you effectively not telling you how they feel where you stand in their life what to expect yeah you've been patiently waiting to see and you're not waiting anymore you're tired of waiting yeah you're not putting your life on hold anymore let me see what's going on with that person yeah, Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer that cancer has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time, especially emotionally? They want to come towards you bravely, courageously. Wow. Wow. They want to be present in your life. But they worry because they view us not taking action towards them, not reaching out to them, no, not chasing them. They realize that you're not holding on to them, that something in your energy has changed. They worry. And the reason why they worry is because they care for you emotionally. Yeah, they worry that you lost interest, that you're done with this situation. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer? And how is that soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time, especially emotionally? They realize they lost you, you see? You either told them goodbye or stop communicating or both, and they got the message. Yeah, this is them trying to be brave enough to approach you. Yeah, look how stressed out they are about this situation. They have a lot of drama going on in their life, though. A lot of drama. Financial responsibilities, drama with finances. They want to break this silence with you. They're very slow to action, but they want to come towards you with something solid. Yeah, so this person has been through a lot themselves as well. Yeah, and it's hard for them to trust people emotionally, to be open with their heart but that's what they're gonna have to learn if they want to be in a solid relationship yeah they do possess wisdom um this person has been quiet but they need to break that silence yeah let me see what's going on with that moon i don't like the moon card to be honest with you some of you are dealing with another cancerian yeah the sign of cancer the sign of cancer Hmm, let me see what's going on here. You know, what's to show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer that cancer has been dealing with. Yeah, look how stressed out they are. They don't know what's going to happen. And the reason why they're stressed out is because they care about you emotionally. They can't just disconnect from you emotionally that easily. Yeah, so there's something they're hiding from you. Things are hidden from you on purpose. Whether they embarrassed or they worried how you're going to judge them. Uh, this person is hiding something from you of significance. Yeah. You see, this person is going through a lot right now. Huge changes in their life that they feel is too much for them to handle. Yeah, this person wants to see you so badly. Reunite with you. Let me see one more for you. Let's please show us one more message for Kansas High is good. You're letting them go, though. Yeah, you, you're not 
holding your breath anymore. You're not waiting by the phone anymore. It's like you feel you need to move on with your life. Yeah, they love you a lot, but it's hard for them to express how they feel. Yeah, you see, they're concerned because they view you as available. So you're meeting new people, Cancer. Remember, you have a lot to offer, so be picky, be selective. If somebody cannot meet you halfway for whatever reason, time for you to move on. Yeah, don't wait around. Absolutely not. Life is too short to be putting it on hold because the other person doesn't know what they want okay or they behave like they don't yeah mm -hmm. life is too short to put your life on hold no you have to move on cancer i wish you all the best and i'll talk to you next time love you guys